Saturday. I don't know why I always announce what day it is, but anyway, it's Saturday and we are actually going away for the weekend. We are so excited. We're going to Maastricht, which is all the way close to Belgium, actually, and Germany. It's going to take us three hours on the train. And I just realized this morning that that means we have to wear a face mask for three hours, which not so ideal, but, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We are kind of in a rush again, as always. I feel like all my videos start the same whenever we're going somewhere. I guess I'll probably see you at the station because we're just busy packing and getting everything ready. to Maastricht. I couldn't say that very loudly on the street because there were lots of people around me. Uh, but yeah, it was quite an ordeal to get here. There was track work. We were meant to only take about three hours to get here and then it ended up being close to five if you say like from door to door it was close to five hours uh, but we're finally here and it is such a cute little place. I'm just gonna go wash my hands and we're just gonna you know, settle down for a little bit, readjust, recenter, and we'll step outdoors and explore the neighborhood. Where are we? <laughs> What's the name of this place? Right. Oh, good Dutch. How are you feeling? How am tell I me, feeling? Tell me about your feelings. I'm feeling tired. We walked 10,000 steps today okay. and usually we walk 100 steps a day because we literally sit down at our work desk and we don't move except to pee or to make lunch. So. We are very unfit and it's weird because in Australia we used to walk maybe 8,000 or 9,000 steps a day I feel. Oh, we just decided to have a very early dinner. Gustavo ordered like a beef stew, it's called Zerblaze which is a traditional beef stew from this region. Um, it's a cross between like Dutch and Belgian cuisine but I got like a veggie burger which was technically on the lunch menu but they were very nice and said yes I could have it. give you guys a hotel room tour <laughs> this is all staged because my husband is behind the door so you come in and everything is orange which is easy hotel right in the center bathroom Let's see if I can go in okay yep nice and a shower pretty basic not much to see here and our bed 
nice a very scenic photo of the bridge that we just walked on and we have a nice view of the water oh and this tv is <laughs> this tv is like bigger than the one we have at home it's like cinema quality we are sitting and waiting for our breakfast. Right now we're just sort of doing some last minute planning for our day. Uh, picking a place for dinner, which is very exciting, but it's something we haven't really had to do for a while because obviously all the restaurants have been closed because of the lockdown and now they're reopening again. And yesterday, new rule came in where people are actually allowed to not only sit outdoors in restaurants, but they can sit indoors. So lots of choices. Uh, Gustav is a little bit stressed. Anyway, <laughs> choice can be overwhelming. That's what we learned in psychology. Actually, people don't like having a lot of choices. Today, we're going to do some more exercise, like nature-based activities. We're going to rent a bike from the station, and then we're going to bike south and you know explore nature gonna enjoy my coffee now bye to go to Volkenberg which will only take us about 10-15 minutes by train. We were actually going to cycle there but it takes about uh, nearly 40 minutes one way. I'm probably going to stop talking now because I don't want everyone to hear us but we'll see you in Volkenberg. It's a new day here. It's Monday morning and everyone else is back at work, but we are not because we are here on a long weekend trip. So we took the day off work. So 
something that feels really good when everyone else is working and you're not. Um, anyway, so we decided to visit the Castle Ruins. It's about a 20 minute bike ride from our hotel. And because it's a weekday, there's no one else here but us. So we've got the whole place ourselves. It was amazing to bike here, um, a really nice nature trail, quite hilly, which is very uncommon for the Netherlands. Um, but yeah, let me show you this incredible view that we're seeing right now. Where are we going? Oh, we're gonna eat fly. Yay! <laughs> so, fly is a specialty from this region. It's like a pastry, that's my understanding, like a fruit pie. You can get like plum, apricot, even rice apparently. We are going to quite a well known place. It's called Bishop. Bishop? So, I should, I should find out the name of it first before I talk about it. Anyway. I will show you what it looks like when we get there and hopefully I like it. I'm very excited. Well, I have some bad news. It's closed. This is what happens when you live in the present moment too much and you don't plan ahead. They're closed on Mondays. Oh, it's a disaster. Anyway, so we are just going to have to do some research and find another place. I'm sure there's another place we can get delicious fly from. I mean, we passed by another pastry shop. We'll just have to come back to Maastricht again. I'm devastated. Oh, that looks delicious. What do you think? It's amazing. Very nice. Yeah? 